of music before everything. And for this, like the odd, more vaguer and more melting in the air, without anything in it which weighs or arrests. It must, also, it must also be that you do not go about choosing your words without some carelessness. Nothing dearer than the grayish song where the wavering and precise are joined. Something like beautiful eyes behind veils. Something like trembling wide day of noon. Something like when made gentle by an autumn sky, the blue jumble of clear stars. For we desire nuance yet more, not color, nothing but nuance. Oh, only nuance brings dream to dream and flute to horn. Keep away from the murderous sharp saying wit and impure love, which make weep the eyes of blue space, and all that garlic of low cooking. Take eloquence and wring its neck. You will do well in an energetic mood to use rhyme made wise somewhat, and if it is not watched, where may it not go? Oh, who can tell? The wrong doings of rhyme. What deaf child or mad black man has made for us this penny toy that sounds hollow and false, heard precisely? Let music be more of it and always. Let your verse be the thing in motion which one feels please from an altering soul towards other skies to other loves. Let your verse the heavy occurrence, somehow with the restless morning wind which goes about smelling of mint and fatigue. All the rest is literature. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Amazing.